Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So if you haven't seen it yet, I posted a video already today, earlier today. Uh, notifications, of course, many of them not going out because they don't want the stuff we're talking about getting into the mainstream. And so be sure to subscribe and at the very least, check back to the main channel once a day, maybe once or twice, just to see if I've posted a video because notifications for many of you just aren't going to do it. And so it's about 3.30 a.m. where I am, peak insomnia team hours, and even though I posted a video, I, uh, I saw this footage, and it, it really, really has got me scratching my head, and I knew it would you guys too, and I think it goes to a bigger picture of cases that we've been seeing lately that are very similar and have very similar circumstances regarding what we are about to see here. And so we have some video footage courtesy of a guy, well, a couple people, who were traveling through Paradise, Michigan. And while traveling up something called Whitefish Point, which is located at the extreme southeastern end of Lake Superior, they noticed a couple of glowing orbs sitting stationary in the sky above the water. Uh, at some points it would just be one light, then you would see a second light appear above or below it. And one thing I'll say right off the get-go here is I do not believe that these are any type of military flares or anything like that. Because if it's one thing that I've seen in all the years of research trying to distinguish flares from these mysterious glowing orbs that we've been seeing around the world, it's that military flares and flares in general Usually you can see a cloud of smoke trailing off the back of them as they fall to the ground and they simply do not sit stationary in the sky. If you have a flare, it is going to, without a doubt, head in one direction and that is towards the ground before it burns out. Whereas here and in many other cases, these glowing orbs will have no trail coming off the back of them and they will be sitting stationary, or move to the left, or move to the right, disappear, and then reappear. And as you will see in this case, something even more amazing, where one of the spheres appears to actually float over top of a giant sea liner, some sort of ship out there. I don't know if it's some sort of uh, aircraft carrier or a fishing vessel, but you can tell it's a very large vessel out in the distance, and at one point, one of these massive orbs can be seen slowly making its way over the top of one of these ships, almost as if it's doing reconnaissance, slowly making its way over before finally passing the ship and continuing on its way. And so, without further ado, check out this footage, and we will talk more in just a second and how it correlates to some other very famous sightings of these things around the world, but also in or around the lakes of Michigan in particular. Small and big and small. It's like it's so Look at, watch. Yeah, I do see that. Trying to stay right on it. Oh, you can see the ship coming into yeah. focus. I'll try to focus on the ship. Because look, it's almost touching the dam. Oh, Jesus. It's got to be right above the ship. Like hovering it. above the deck. Yeah, but they have to be able to, that's got to be they so bright on that ship. That. They've got to see that. Yeah, somebody's got to be able to see that on that ship. Maybe it's just a flare, I don't know. I know flare sits like that and it's good yeah. too. Yeah, well there was three oh, when I first looked at it. Oh, and it pulses like it gets brighter and then dimmer and now it's getting dim. Dimmer and dimmer. Almost gone. <gasps> now there's two. two. Yeah, see now the you bottom one's gone. The top one comes in and the bottom one disappears. Yeah. And that's how it done and that the, a couple times and now. The one comes up. Holy crap. That's really high. Yeah. I don't think you could get that high, could you? What would be that high in the sky that could hover? I don't know. My hands are starting to Okay, so 
uh, as you guys just saw, the, the way this thing looked to be checking out this fishing vessel out there, or whatever it was, moving completely sideways, something a flare does not do. Uh, here's a pic, again, as I showed you earlier, or a video, of actual traditional flares look totally different from what we're having here. They're not trailing off, they're not falling towards the ground, whatever we're seeing in this UFO footage, they're moving left to right, they're disappearing, they're reappearing higher than they were before, and this is just some really creepy footage, and for some reason, when it comes to UFO sightings over bodies of water, it either tends to be a saucer or cigar-shaped craft, but more often, I would say we see these orbs, if you want to call them that, orbs, uh, things that glow, just glowing circles of all different kinds, or spheres. Now, likewise, there was another very infamous case where a pilot who was directing a flight in a 747, I believe it was, from Hong Kong to Alaska, suddenly heard air traffic control talking to other pilots about two intense earthquakes that had occurred in San Francisco and Chile. And then suddenly, a long way off the distance ahead, he noticed an immense light flash shot up from the ground just at or beyond the horizon point. And that's when he started snapping photos, and as he got closer to these lights that were shooting up from the ocean and into the sky, he captured these haunting and now famous photographs out of the cockpit window showing what can only be described as thousands of these deep, red-orangey glowing orbs or lights coming up from the deep oceans below and just hovering just right underneath the water. And there has never been a clear explanation as to what these thousands of lights were. The underwater lights were so bright, in fact, that they were illuminating the sky and the clouds above. And as we said before, uh, the pilot witnessed at least one or two of them shooting up out of the water towards the sky, dare I say, space. And lastly, regarding these orbs going back to the lakes surrounding Michigan, where this new footage came from, there is yet another amazing and famous viral piece of footage that uh, we featured here on the channel. Other channels featured it when it first hit the web a couple of years back, uh, where, again, this time over Lake Michigan, not one, not two, but a handful of these orange-colored spheres were captured by multiple people sitting completely static and still in the sky above Lake Michigan, and where every once in a while, one of the lights would begin to move and change formation, uh, almost like a beautiful dance being performed for the stunned bystanders. So, you're seeing clips here, and uh, I will go ahead and let this play along with some filters of these lights. This entire video put together by one of my very good friends and fellow researchers who runs the channel Finding UFO. He's one of the very first guys I collaborated with on YouTube, and he does simply great work. So, check this out for a moment, just watch it, take it in, and uh, we'll talk more in just a second. Okay, so amazing stuff. I will put a link to Finding UFOs channel down below. Really good buddy of mine. And uh, lastly, just real quick, here's yet another photograph that was among a couple of different photos snapped, this time I believe over the California coast a year or so ago when we first featured it on the channel, uh, where once again, a man out for a late night stroll on the beach was shocked by the sudden appearance of a pair, this time, of massive glowing yellow orbs sitting two by two next to one another, just sitting stagnant in the sky, not moving, but obviously doing something. These things don't appear for no reason. 
So we don't know if they had come up out of the water, were they about to go down into the water, but um, you know, one of the main things that we've heard many times as it pertains to these above water UFO sightings is that many of these objects will be seen blasting up from the water towards space or flying back down and disappearing back into the deep blue and never seen again, uh, which has sparked a huge debate as to the alien activity happening underneath our oceans. And I've said it a billion times, I'll say it again, our oceans are an alien planet in and of themselves. Forget space, because we have an alien world right here. Our oceans cover a massive portion of the planet, and only 10% of our oceans have ever, ever been explored or even touched by mankind. So think about that for a minute. That leaves 90% of our oceans that have never been explored. No idea what, what sort of amazing installations there could be. These lights and these craft have to be going somewhere down there. And so when I say that our oceans hold an alien world and you start to list and research into the thousands upon thousands of mysterious sightings of unidentified objects, you would have to agree. And so with that, tell me what you guys think of these lights shadowing this large fishing vessel. Stay tuned, subscribe, share this video, and I will see you back in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.